this is not easy. <laughs> <laughs> I have a few questions. Uh, one is, I come from France, and I've been definitely trying to see if there is a French, if there's going to be a French dub of Dragon Knight. Because I'm trying promoting the show to all, everybody I know, but it's very difficult and there is no French at all. Uh, do you know if there is a land for a French dub? This is Takeshi Okajima here. He is one of the actors. French version, uh, we working on it. Uh, we don't have a, uh, any TV station to air the show in France at, at this point, but we working on it, and then hopefully in the future uh, we're gonna have a uh, broadcaster to air the show. <laughs> Uh, and um, also, um, with regards to Ryuki, uh, Ryuki uh, Ryuga, the black uh, dragonite, is evil. Uh, one of the sort of really dark uh, characters. What made you decide to make him a good guy uh, in, uh, in Dragonite? Well, I think first and foremost, I want to do something different. Um, so, you know, I thought trying to do something more unpredictable would be a better route for us. And then also too, because Ryuki and our Yuga is so evil in the TV show, he does a lot of things that we can't really get away with for American television. So that's some of the reasons. I'll let Nathan take over on this one. Well, um, I'm always more interested in, in characters that are um, that are not pure evil because pure evil, you know, I, I, I mean, Xavier's did that really well, but, but but I like characters that have some some conflict within themselves, and that is always to me a, a much more interesting uh, thing to write about. It's like, you know, you can have two guys fight, that's fine, but what about a guy who's fighting within himself? That's always interesting to see, and it allows a lot of drama. And allows the story to continue. <laughs> <laughs> um, this question is actually for you, Steve. Um, out of all the uh, Kamen Rider series, um, which one was your favorite? And if you get another Kamen Rider show, which one would you like to do? For me personally, I'm, I'm very old school. I started watching Kamen Rider back in 1977. Oh, wow. so, yeah. so, um, you know, my favorite Kamen Rider is actually V3. Oh, wow. uh, <laughs> I, think all kind of I love the old shows because they focus on the, you know, on the Kamen Rider more and all his backstories and all that stuff. I think the, the, newer, the newer shows are a little bit more complex, but in, sometimes it can be very confusing. Um, but anyways, in, in regards to your question, if I, if I was doing another one, it would probably be a toss-up between either Fies or um, Kabuto. I am a big fan of Kamen Rider. Uh, this is kind of like a voice request for all the Kamen Riders. If they can do the transformation, but instead of saying Kamen Rider, transform and say Henshin instead.
Um, we, of course, we only use the, the, the footage uh, where the guys were in the costumes. We used, I would say, we used about 95% of the fight footage that was available to us. There were a couple of fights that just didn't fit in with the storyline that we were creating. There were a couple of fights where you go, okay, why in our series would that guy fight that guy? We couldn't figure out reasons of, you know, that one didn't get used, but we figured out reasons for for people to fight. Like, for instance, Master Yugalon uh, fighting um, Adam. It's like, that wouldn't happen. So we'll make it Zabiacs pretending to be Master Yugalon. <laughs> <laughs> so we got them all in something. Yeah, we made every effort to use as much of the action footage as we could. And I believe there was a total of a little bit over two hours of footage, I think. But in the long run, we actually ended up shooting a lot more of all the action footage than the Japanese footage that we used. Alright, my question is uh, for Matt. Um, how did you feel going from Kamen Rider Dragon Knight to doing uh, Mortal Kombat Reborn yeah. on YouTube as Johnny Cage? Yeah. 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 That's how it's about that. Uh, well, uh, Kamen Rider was a really great experience because for the action sequences that we did in that uh, in in the show, it was um, it was really great to work with uh, choreographers from Japan, working with uh, Yuji and Koichi. Uh, it was outstanding to be able to put together like that type of choreography uh, and work it for Johnny Cage. They really wanted like a harder edge, sort of an MMA feel. They wanted to make Johnny Cage like if he was almost a, a fighter, like relative and uh, irrelevant in these days. So being able to work on like current like MMA type of fight sequences was cool. Uh, so I died, but uh, <laughs> but supposedly in the third movie that's not supposed to happen. So uh, yeah, it was it was awesome. They were both great, just completely different experiences. <laughs>